I made raspberry hot sauce recently and it truly smacked. So now we're making one that has been heavily requested, blueberry hot sauce. We're lacto fermenting once again, so we need a 5% brine of water and fine sea salt. Mix together until the salt dissolved and put to one side. Grab your chili of choice, these are Fresno. Remove the stalks and cut in half. We're blending them later, so don't worry about any fine chopping. Then grab yourself some beautifully plump blueberries, no prep needed, and peel the zest off some lemon. Then put the blueberries, chilies, and lemon zest into a large jar, packing them all in there nice and tight. Top with more berries as necessary to fill up that jar. Get them in there. Pour in the brine to completely cover the fruit, seal the jar tightly, and now we play the waiting game. Like and follow for part two. Got them. Ferment your blueberries and chilies for as long as you like. These guys are in ferment for about nine days, but it's down to your personal taste of the tang. Once fermented, open the jar. Fizzy. All these bubbles show some real activity going on in here. Strain the blueberries and chilies through a sieve, reserving the brine. We're going to be needing that later on. These chilies have softened nicely, and the blueberries, well, they are just incredible on their own. Place everything into the blender with some homemade blueberry vinegar and a cup of splashes of that reserve brine. Blitz everything together until smooth and add a little olive oil just to thicken and mellow out that sauce. And that's it. A fruity little number that works surprisingly well. Who knew? I had to put it to the test so I heated it up with a little bit of butter until smooth, knocked up some chicken wings, drowned them in sauce and went to absolute town on those bad boys. If you love hot sauce, give this one a go because it is pure fire. Make that sauce, coat those wings and don't forget to like and follow.